In additions filed Monday to Rodney Lil Rod Jones' lawsuit against the rapper mogul, Young Miami, Sean Diddy Combs' ex-girlfriend, is now being roped into his legal troubles, being accused of transporting narcotics for him, according to updated court documents. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Carisha Romika Brownlee is blamed for shipping the medication alluded to as pink cocaine for Combs in April, as per subtleties added to the $30 million claim Rodney Jones Jr., the music maker otherwise called Lil Rod, recorded against brushes in February. In 25 pages added to Jones' recording on Monday and got by the Hollywood correspondent, the suit asserts the 54-year-old was halfway toward the alleged, pink cocaine, or, 2CB, or, Tucci. The drug, which is a mix of cocaine and ecstasy, is known as phenylethylamine 2CB. Diddy was acquiring the medications from Brendan Paul, Diddy's denounced drug donkey, who was as of late captured. However, according to Jones' additions to the suit, he went with Brownlee as a source when he forgot to bring the drugs. On Thursday, XXL magazine was the first to report that the suit's additions were a reference to rehearsals, possibly in advance of Pharrell Williams's Something in the Water Festival in Virginia Beach in April 2023. Diddy showed up close by Pharrell in front of an audience at the occasion. Offended party and the search's RICO endeavor were practicing for something in the Westival. The outlet reports that the court filing states that sick in Virginia. In his dressing room, Mr. Combs drank a few lines of coke, as plaintiff Jones witnessed it personally. Litigant Sean Combs needed Tucci yet Brendan failed to remember it, so respondent Christina Coram called Young Miami. Who then, at that point, welcomed it on the personal luxury plane from Miami. The 37-year-old claims in the suit that the music and fashion mogul abused him on multiple occasions while he was working on his latest album, from September to November 2022. Diddy supposedly grabbed his private parts and rear end in endeavors to prepare him into having intercourse, he asserts in the suit. Jones was additionally compelled to request sex laborers and afterward made to perform sex acts with them, the suit cases, and he says in the records that he was exposed to undesired sexual consideration from entertainer Cuba Gooding Jr. What's more, others. He claims in the filing that he was under the influence of drugs at one point. He says that in February 2023, he woke up confused and dizzy with Combs and two sex workers. Diddy has denied the charges in Lil Rod underlying claim. On Thursday, the Hollywood Reporter contacted Brownlee and Diddy's representatives, but did not receive a response right away. A representative for Homeland Security Investigations New York said in a statement that on Monday, agents raided Combs' homes in Los Angeles, New York, and Miami, as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from She Los Angeles, She Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Aaron Dyer, Combs' attorney, stated on Tuesday that the numerous civil lawsuits filed against the rapper mogul were the basis for the raids. This remarkable snare, matched with a high-level, composed media presence, prompts an untimely race to judgment of Mr. Brushes and is just a witch chase in view of meritless allegations made in common claims. With regard to any of these allegations, neither criminal nor civil liability has been established. He stated, Mr. Combs is innocent and will fight every day to clear his name. Since Cassie, his former long-term partner and recording artist, filed a lawsuit against him in November alleging that he had sexually assaulted and raped her on